everybody, Dave here, Hidden Free Investing, and welcome to another video. I want to do a fire update in this video. I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I'm not gonna look at my assets or my investments or where all that stuff is broken down. You guys have seen that. Uh, maybe I'll do an update next month on that. But in this video, I want to kind of do some scenarios here. And if you're, you know, chasing fire, do you want to do that in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, or something like that? Maybe this will help you to kind of give you an idea of what it takes to get there. And maybe you're not familiar with what FIRE is. That's financial independence, retire early, or recreational employment, uh, if you want to call it that too. Doesn't matter what you call it. Um, it's just, you know, getting a rapid amount of seed money as quick as you can, having that compounding and reaching your goal, which could be a million dollars, could be $5 million, whatever your goal is. And then you quit working and never go back to work unless you want to. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I have a free download slash giveaway for you. And also I'm gonna make this a two part video. And the second part will come out next month. And in that video, I'm gonna basically do my whole history of how I got uh, where I am today. My fire journey per se, it started about uh, when I was 35. So. I'm gonna kind of go through um, all that, uh, you know, salary, including how much I save, savings rate, and all that stuff. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, go ahead and like and subscribe, and look for that part two video next month. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, um, this is a just an overview page here, and it's, you know, right now my net worth sits at 1.739, so it is going up, even though the market has been coming down lately. Um, I mean, it's just three thousand dollars today alone, and obviously uh, quite a bit. I'd say another fifteen thousand dollars. This you know, market has come down, and that's fine because the dividend yield still, uh, dividend income still twenty two thousand, you know, two hundred eighty four dollars. So let's go ahead and skip over to the other section here, and I also here is the net worth thing, which you've already seen before. So that's kind of where the assets sit right now. But like I said in this video, we're not going to really look at that. So. This is what I want to look at here. I laid out three different scenarios for you. Scenarios, scenarios, whatever you want to call it. I call it scenarios, but all right. So we got four different scenarios here. Two of them are not fire and uh, two of them are fire. And we got the annual return over here is 10% and that could be adjusted if we want. But let's just say it's you know, right now sitting at 10% on average. That's our return on investment on average. Okay, so 10%. And we're gonna use that for just all the scenarios here. And then scenario one, let's just say that you're 18 years old and you want to invest uh, and reach a million dollars uh, by the time you retire. Okay, now this one has you retired in 47 years. Okay, so that's age 65 there. You have $1.1 million. But the thing here with this particular scenario is, is the fact that you only have to invest $16,000. So that's $2,000 annual, okay? And then it has a return of 10%. So that's annual at $2,200. You invest another $2,000 in age 19. And you get the return on that plus whatever the capital was prior to that. And it compounds and compounds and compounds. So age 25, you stop investing and guess what? Uh, whatever you're making here uh, on out is just whatever you're spending. So at 10% uh, over that's 47 years, by the time you're age 65, you'll have $1.1 million with a total investment of only $16,000. That's pretty crazy. And it kind of makes you think that time is what matters here, right? Well, I've been talking about it over and over and over on various videos I've done, even on my other channel and time um, is not on your side <laughs> obviously but because uh, time is is not infinite it goes it goes away all right it's like a rolled toilet paper right when you're 18 because i've been 18 right um you have all the time in the world to save for retirement so you kind of wait till you're normally in your 30s maybe you're in your late 20s you might put in a little bit of money into a 401k match or something like that or the minimum to get the match but uh, so $2,000 a 
a year. It's not that much to come up with. Honestly, 18 years old, you have a minimum wage job. You can afford $2,000 a year, I think, right? Especially if you're living at home, you're living down in a basement or in a van down by the river or something like that. How can you not come up with $2,000? So that's $16,000 in total, total investment. 65 years old, $1.1 million. Let's look at scenario two here. So scenario two has us starting at age 35, okay? And so we got 30 years to retirement there. So we're gonna retire at 65, the same thing here. But look at the difference here, all right? You only have to invest $16,000 over here. But over here, you're investing $5,000 annually, okay? And so that's more than double what you have to invest over here. Plus, it's all the way until you're 65. So literally, it's 30 years investing $5,000 a year and guess what you still end up with less money than you had over here in this scenario all right so a total investment one hundred fifty-five thousand dollars. age 65 you retire you hang it up you have a million dollars still less than you had over here and you know that's where time matters right all these extra years here where it compounds even though you're investing so much less money over here those those years right here all matter so there you go, scenario two. Um, it's not a fire scenario, but it's 30 years, investing only $5,000 a year um, at age 35, and that's the reason why time matters. Can you imagine just starting at age 25? That would make a huge difference. And that brings us to scenario one for fire, okay? And this has you retiring in 10 years, all right? So starting age 35, which the age I technically started uh, wasn't really I didn't really start fire at age 35, but that's kind of when I started flatten my net worth. So I still count that. I didn't really start fire until uh, 2024, excuse me, 2014. But, uh, you know, in age 35 was 2010. I didn't really start fire until four years later. So here, what we have is an annual investment of $50,000. Okay, so that's about a, what, $4,100 a month. And you're thinking, Dave, how do you do that? Well, you know, if you have two incomes, it's not that difficult to save $4,000 a month. In my opinion, if you're both making, you know, 50 to $70,000 or something like that, and I don't even know what the median is, it's gotta be about 60 to $70,000 these days. I could be wrong, I don't really know, but um, so $50,000 annually you save, and then you have a 10% return. So in 10 years, you basically have $1 million and then you can fire if you want. And then, you know, you got all these extra years here you don't have to worry about. So that's a $550,000 of money that you contributed. And obviously that is a lot more than this scenario. It's a lot more than this scenario. But remember, you're only doing 10 years here of investments. So there's a scenario there where you could retire in 10 years. And obviously if you, you know, had a $1.5 million goal in 10 years, you can up it to say $60,000. And that $60,000 would put you at 1.2. If you brought it up to $65,000 a year, and that is not unheard of, especially with two higher un income earners, that puts you at $1.3 million. Obviously, you can extend these out a couple more years, say 11 or 12 years. Get to the 1.5 if you want. I save roughly about $65 to $70,000 per year. I'm a little bit higher income earner. I'm a single income earner. I don't, I'm not married, I don't have any kids or anything like that. So if I save $70,000 a year, that puts me at 1.4. Like I said, in a future video next month, I will go through all my scenario when I started from zero all the way up to 1.7 that I'm at now and how many years it took me to get there and all that. So you can play around with those numbers there. $50,000 I think is pretty doable for a couple that has a medium income. For a little bit higher income folks, I'd say, you know, you know, $75,000 or something like that per year should not be out of the question if you both make $100,000. So that puts you at $1.5 million. And that brings us over here to scenario two, which is fire. So let's just say you started fire a little bit earlier. So let's say right, right when you got out of college or something like that. And obviously you don't have to make a lot, uh, you know, out of college, just say you get paid like $75,000 out of college. You have like an engineering degree or something like that. You start at $75,000, which is pretty doable. Um, it is 2021 and investment $25,000 a year. And obviously this is gonna take you 16 years to get to $1.1 million. 
obviously, you know, you can contribute more as the time goes on, right? Let's say, say you get a raise every year, right? Let's say the raise goes up, uh, you know, 2% or 3% a year. Well, you could throw that extra money in here as well, right? So in this case here, $25,000 a year is pretty doable in my opinion. So that's about what, $2,000 a month. Obviously, as you get salary increases as time goes on, you can start saving more as well to reach your goal faster or to have a higher goal by the time you retire. So this is 16 years uh, with a little bit earlier start date there. Obviously, it's you'll still retire in earlier than this scenario here, but it only took 10 years. So, you know, the total investment on this particular one is $425,000. Total investment in 16 years with basically half the amount, um, even though the time took more um, because you're, you know, I'm just wanted to do a scenario there where if you're making a little bit less money than this scenario here, because this could be like a power couple or something like that. And I honestly think that a power couple could save more than $50,000 a year. Just myself, I save roughly about, you know, what, $70,000 a year and I'm just a one income. I don't have a, you know, power couple. So where's my fruit, right? So $425,000 there of total investment that you made and then you stopped and you had $1.1 million. So what you could also do is you could play around with annual return, obviously, and if you did 12% over here or something like that, then that just ups the numbers, right? So you got $1.5 million in this scenario here with this still the $50,000. In this scenario two here for fire, that puts you at 1.368. And then obviously in these two scenarios over here, over 47 years, that puts you at $2.5 million. So that 2% annual return makes a huge difference, right? So, and here in scenario two, that puts us at 1.5 million. So that's a pretty substantial you know, difference there with just 2%. So what if we did 8%? So if we went down to 8%, that's gonna lower the numbers. Look at that there. Lowers it down to literally half as much. It was a million dollars, now it's $500,000. That's just 2% difference there. This one's at 666,000. This one's 898,000. And then this scenario is still at uh, $900,000. So, um, you know, obviously the investment return makes a difference. 10% I, I would say is, yeah, I would say that's doable. Um, it could be tough. There's going to be years there where things are going to be down. It could only go up, you know, you know, 4% or 0%. And then there could be years where it goes up 20% and 30%. So obviously if you can invest as much as you possibly can, plus when you get a salary increase, go ahead and increase your you know annual contributions or i would really say monthly contributions i don't have these broken out by month but so this would actually be a compounded monthly but we're doing a scenarios here all on an annual contribution but obviously it would compound a little bit faster if you did monthly contributions which i think most people would be doing anyway because uh, everybody gets paid uh, bi-weekly or most people should get paid bi-weekly why would you wait till the end of the year? You know, you're gonna most likely spend that if you wait till the end of the year. So do not wait till the end of the year, put the money in every single month, invest, put it on automatic or something like that if you want. So what platform do I recommend for newer investors? Well, I kind of recommend M1 Finance just because it's very simple, it's very easy to set up. In addition to um, easy to set up the pies and all that, but I have a lot of investments in there. And they also have an automatic invest or you know, slash deposit feature, which will, should automatically invest. So if you want to do a bi-weekly or you want to do a monthly or you want to do a weekly invest, it will automatically do that for you. It's a pretty easy platform. It's kind of a set and forget platform. So it is one I recommend for new investors. So if you're just starting, you know, take a look at M1 Finance. And obviously right now they are running a promotion. So actually I think it's permanent. Um, so if you open a new account using my link, you'll get $30, I'll get $30. So that's obviously a 30% return right there if you invest $100 from right from the get go. So go ahead and take a look at that link. It's down in the description slash down in the first pinned comment as well. And to thank you for sticking around, I put the link down to the spreadsheet down in the description slash first pin comment. So if you wanna play around with these numbers, go ahead and download that, it's free. It doesn't cost you a dime, so mess around with all those scenarios, figure out where you wanna be. You can move the age around and all that if you want as well. And you can mess around with all the numbers and not really worry about messing anything up. You can just download it again if you want. So are you on a fire journey? Go ahead and comment below. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. 
So this is part one and part two, like I said, just to recap, I will go ahead and kind of start from zero how I got to where I am today next month. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Obviously, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment below. You can shoot me an email or you can hit me up on Facegram or Twitter as well. So until next time, go ahead and like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.